How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Vora Motors. I'm Meiji Hart, here today with a new guide to discuss a ride a little bit more. For today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about tires. Now, this may seem like a little bit of a drab conversation, but I was recently inspired by ESG. They just did a video that they titled The Great Scooter Debate, 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 Debate. I actually got to take part, it was a lot of fun. But the point was, the people, they brought on guests and everybody talked a little bit about different kinds of scooter pieces. If you haven't seen it yet, I definitely do recommend that you go check out that channel and check out that recent episode of their live show. It was really cool. But it got me thinking about tires, and tires specifically, and it got me thinking about the tires that we offer here at Voro Motors. For today's video, what I wanted to do was take a little bit of their discussion about tires and add in a little bit of my own notes and talk about the tires that we have here at Voro Motors. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Here at Voro Motors, we have three different types of tires. We've got solid tires, and we've got two types of pneumatic tires. Pneumatic tubed tires, and pneumatic tubeless tires. Pneumatic just means it's filled with air, basically. First, let's talk about the solid tires. And I'll begin with kind of the big selling point on these things. They take almost no maintenance. You see, with pneumatic tires, you're gonna have to constantly check the tire pressure, make sure that you're good to go. You're gonna have times where you hop on your vehicle to go ride somewhere and you notice the tire's flat and you gotta walk it to a pump or something. A solid tire, you're never gonna have to deal with that. These things are just, you know, solid. They're going to be totally fine to hop on no matter what. You can always count on the fact that your solid tire will be ready to go, which is a confidence that you can't say about other tires. I mean, isn't that why we kind of all got into the PEV scene anyway, was so that we had something that we could reliably take anywhere we needed to go. Solid tire does that. For the most part, you're only going to see tires like this on smaller or lighter scooters. And there's a couple of big reasons for that. The first is that because it's solid, there's a lot less give to this tire in general. So if you have a heavier scooter, say a Mantis Pro or a Wolf Warrior, when you start throwing that thing around and hitting those higher speeds, the tire that's solid is going to lose track on the ground a lot faster and you're gonna run into skids and burnouts way more often than you would with an air tire that has a little bit more give to grab hold of the ground. Speaking of give, another big issue with these things is that they don't take any hits for you. If you hit a stick in the road or a bump in the curb, you're gonna feel that on the deck, unless you have like phenomenal suspension like our turning. So yeah, those are two kind of big issues. It's, it's a ride quality thing for the most part, unless you're trying to do something a lot more extreme. Now, that's not to say that there isn't a place for these tires, right? There's a reason why you see it on a lot of those rideshare scooters, and there's a reason why we put it on our e-move touring. We're confident that a solid tire like this has its benefits. Again, it's nice to have something that you know will always be totally fine to ride. And if you're just cruising around the city, you're not gonna need to be hitting speeds that are too incredibly fast. So for all of the reasons that we can imagine somebody riding our touring, it's totally fine to have a solid tire, and that's why we went ahead and put one on there. These tires make excellent tools for the city. Sure, you're not gonna be off-roading and taking it off jumps without feeling it, but if you're just looking for a little commuter to get you to and from work on a paved road, these solid tires are going to be totally fine for that, and you're never gonna have to worry about them. Now, if you wanted to have a little bit of a smoother ride, let's say you have some bumps and cracks, or you're just looking to get into something a little bit more extreme, now we can start talking about our pneumatic tires. So, pneumatic tires. One thing I want to say just right off the start, we here at Voro Motors have two types of pneumatic tires. Pneumatic tires that are tubed, things that you're gonna see on say the front wheel of our Touring, or our Fido, or... Hey Melvin, is the Mantis tubeless? Okay. Is the Wolf tubeless? Okay, thank you. And then we have our tubeless pneumatic tires. Now this is going to be what's on our E-Move Cruiser especially. So what does that mean exactly, tubed versus tubeless pneumatic tires? Let's start off with a tubed one and we'll talk about those specifically. The tubed one, if you take your tire and reach in and start yanking around, you're going to see that there's actually a tiny inner tube. Now this works as sort of a balloon. This is where all of the air is going to be kept. 
Um, if I had much more powerful lungs, I would blow this up and show you all, but uh, I don't think, well. Oh, hell yeah. So this is a pneumatic tubed tire. It carries all of the air inside of it, and the tire outside of it is just used to kind of protect it. Now these tires are probably what you're going to see really commonly in life, right? This is what a bicycle tire looks like. This is what some motorcycle tires look like. This is what some car tires look like. A tubeless tire, on the other hand, has no inner tube. If you look inside, you'll see that it's just empty in there. And that's because it's built in a way that the tire itself, the wheel hub that we built, and the tire kind of bond together. And the air is actually held in between the two of them. It's a little bit more complicated. Now, our tubeless and our tubed pneumatic tires have a couple pros in common. For example, they both are air-filled, which means that they have a little bit of give to them, like I was mentioning before. So if you have a little bit of a heavier scooter, it's gonna sink in to keep traction. Or if you're expecting a little bit more of a bumpy ride, these tires are gonna give you just a little bit of give to make them a little bit smoother. But again, a difference to the solid tires is that they need to be maintained, right? Your tube tire and your tubeless tire, they're filled with air and eventually that's gonna sink out. Maybe the heat or the cold shifts it. Regardless, it's something that you're gonna to need to maintain. There's gonna be times where you think to yourself, I'll just hop on my scooter and then you hop on it and there's no air. Now that's about where the exact pros and cons stop. Just kind of those two big similarities. Having a tube and having no tube offers itself up to a lot of nuanced differences. So let's talk about those a little bit. Now the tube tire is admittedly prone to puncture a lot more than our other two tires. Uh, because, you know, this tire is a little bit thinner than a tubeless tire. And this is just a balloon and you know, a little bit of jostling, a little bit of twisting, a little bit of squeezing, it's gonna pop a seal eventually. So of all of the tires that we have, these are gonna be the ones that you have the most hiccups with just because this could get damaged, the inner tube could get damaged, you're gonna run into some sort of leak. But that's kind of what's nice about pneumatic tube tires is that they are easily fixed. You see, if you pop a leak in the tire here, you can fill it up with slime as a quick and easy repair so that you don't have to replace the whole tire. You can just slime the tube and you're gonna be good to go. Or let's say you hit a really big thing and you gash your tire's outer exterior pretty bad. You can just replace the outer exterior and you'll be able to keep your inner tube. Repair and maintenance and swapping out with these tires can be done really simply and it's nice to have something that you can kind of reliably do that way. So while each one might be a little bit more likely to have its own independent problems, both of them can be fixed independently of each other. So you've got two options to fix things. And some people like having that option. Some people just like knowing that, you know, they don't have to replace their entire thing, right? If you run into an issue with your inner tube, most eight inch inner tubes will be totally fine. If you run into your tire issue, again, most tire inch sizes will be totally fine. And you can swap out whatever you need with a local store and get back on the road. Of course, let's say that you really hate running into little snags like that. Ooh, just little inconveniences like that just really grind your gears. I get it, I hate tiny inconveniences too, and I definitely don't wanna deal with it with one of my primary sources of transportation. Screw that noise. Well, I've got great news for you. That's where our tubeless tires come in. Now these are the fanciest and best tires that we're gonna be able to get onto your vehicles. There is a reason after all that you're going to see a tubeless tire on the front and rear wheel of the Cruiser. And more so than that, there's a reason why the Cruiser is the only scooter at its price point that you're going to find with tubeless tires in the front and the rear. These things take quality and they really, really do show it. Let's start with the pros. These things are tough. They're leagues tougher than the tubed pneumatic tires. And in fact, most of the time people get one of these tires, they're going to need to replace this thing because it got bald, not because it ended up with any sort of small inconvenience. Little screws, little pieces of glass, nothing's really gonna gash this thing too bad. It is even thicker than the outer shell of our tubed tires. This is of course gonna be less sturdy than our solid tires, but it's going to be more sturdy than our tubed tires which, you know, it's all about finding your specific goal, right? Now, if you did ever run into an issue where you did end up with a bad leak and you knew that you needed to replace your tire, well, we've got one major simplicity over our tube tires. 
There's not going to be any sort of hunting down to see where and who you should or could get a cruiser tire from. You can just come straight to us. You see, tubeless tires need to be fitted in with the wheel itself because the air is filled between the tire and the wheel. And we here at Bora Motors are of course going to have the exact tires that you need to replace it. So that's one major thing out of the way, simplicity. We here at Voro are always going to be able to get you taken care of with your scooter pieces. No third party, no puzzle pieces, just honest pieces, the actual manufactured pieces. Now, of course, with no tire, is it all sunshine and rainbows? You're gonna run into issues with something eventually, right? So the major drawback with our cruiser tire is actually part of a discussion that I see online all the time. In regards to slime. So slime is something that you can put in most tires to make them a little bit sturdier, a little bit healthier. I mentioned before that you could use it on a tubed tire as a sort of quick fix, quick patch. But we can't actually recommend that you put slime in our tubeless tires because it kind of can lead to more issues. I mentioned before that tubeless tires hold their air by keeping the air between the tire and the wheel itself. But if you put slime in, it can fuse the tire to the wheel, meaning that if you want to replace your tire in the future because it's ran bald or it did run into a leak, you can't replace just the tire part. You have to replace the whole wheel. Now on the front tire, maybe that's not too much of an issue, but if you run into that issue and you slime the rear tire where our motor is housed, on the cruiser, you're going to run into an issue where you need to replace the entire motor, which sucks. It sucks. So again, big complaint with tubeless tires. Don't slime them because it can cause more issues in the future. I think that's that. And I think that's about it. I think I've kind of hit the pros and cons of each of the tire types that we offer here at Bora Motors. Again, if you want a kind of a breakdown of what you're gonna find on what, you're gonna find tubed pneumatic tires on our Touring, the Fido, the Mantis. You're gonna find solid tires just on our Touring's rear wheel. And you're going to find tubeless tires on our Cruiser. And coming up here really soon, we're actually gonna be offering tubeless tires on the front wheel of our Touring. So definitely keep an eye out for that update when it happens for all of you. I'm actually kind of curious after seeing this video and maybe you did see the ESG scooter debate, what kind of tires are you most interested in using and why are you interested in those? I think that a lot of these things come down to personal preference, especially at something so nuanced as tire type. And I'm really curious about what really tickles your fancy as somebody that checks out these videos and educates yourself on these things. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope that this video helps and I hope you enjoy your ride.